You're watching Channel 4. Now it looks like a heady night for Herman. This is Herman Brooks. Herman is just like the rest of us. Every day he has to make all kinds of decisions. Like what to wear, whom to date, and when to panic. Now, these decisions should be easy, but if you take a look inside Herman's head, you'll see why he sometimes has trouble making up his mind. I'm Herman's intellect. Without me, he couldn't hold his job, pay his rent, or tie his shoes. I'm Herman's sensitivity. Without me, he wouldn't feel tenderness, honesty, or love. The good things in life. Oh, I'm Herman's anxiety, and I keep him out of trouble. And believe me, there's trouble everywhere. I'm Herman's lust. Without me, he'd miss out on all the good stuff. You know, fun, food, babes. Sometimes they agree. Usually they don't. But this struggle is going on inside all of us. And it's all going on inside Herman's head. Ooh, Herman, nice shirt. What's the occasion? Ooh, Jay snagged us some invites to Eclipse tonight. Wow, that's a pretty exclusive nightclub. Not anymore. <laughs> Hetty, why are you at my desk? I had to use your computer. Mine's acting up, and I'm in a hurry. Did you ever hear of asking? Asking. Isn't that what less attractive people have to do to get what they want? <laughs> what happened to the file I was working on? Can't seem to bring it back up. I must have deleted it. What, Hetty? I've been working like a dog on that article all day, and it's due in five minutes. Oh, then I say you're not going to make it. Well, got to go. <laughs> Herman, I need that article. Um, it's not ready yet, sir. Not ready yet? I had some computer problems. You realize now I have to call upstairs and tell them it won't be ready until tomorrow? You think they're gonna yell at you? No, they're gonna yell at me. If it'll help any, sir, you can yell at me. I am yelling at you, and it is not helping. <laughs> Herman, no. Yeah. Bad news, Jay, I can't go to Eclipse tonight. What? I gotta redo this article and have it on Bracken's desk first thing in the morning. Herman, need I remind you what the women are like at this place? I can't go, Jay. Why don't you take Louise? Louise? I've never been to a trendy New York club before. Okay, but here are the ground rules, all right? Never look anyone in the eye. Act like you couldn't care less. And once we hit the door, you're on your own. So it's like a date. <laughs> Eddie, where are you taking me? I want you to see one of the most breathtaking views in the city. I'm already looking at it. <laughs> this is great. They're going to get it on right here in front of us. We can't watch this. We have work to do. Hey, there's plenty of time for work. Let's enjoy a few minutes of Hetty Does London. <laughs> You are sick and perverted, and we're getting out of here right now. Oh, Simon, let's not do this here. Let's go back to your place. I'm afraid that will be rather awkward. Wouldn't you like to spend a night with me in your bed making wild, passionate love? Oh, I'd certainly enjoy it, but I'm not sure the wife's up for it. The wife? You're married? Well, it seems that way. I was rather hoping you wouldn't have a problem with that. You are scum. So you do have a problem with that? <laughs> yes. Well, that puts a bit of a kibosh on the wild, passionate love thing, doesn't it? I can't believe this. I can see you're quite upset. Get out. And take that stupid accent with you. Very well. Goodbye, Hetty. Mom, it's me. Hetty. <laughs> Sorry to call so late, but it happened again. No, not gay Mary this time. <laughs> Mom, I'm 
I'm tired of dating men just because they have money or power. They're all creeps. I hate my life. I'm tired of being alone. Don't tell me I don't need anyone. You've had five husbands. I don't know why I bothered to call you, Mom. You never understand. I said you never understand. Just never mind. Just go back to your party. Just me. I know! <laughs> Stop screaming! You partnered! How could you sit there and listen to that? Well, what was I supposed to do? Just jump out and yell surprise? Oh my God, you heard everything. I didn't hear a thing. Well, let's see. She's only attracted to men who are either married or gay. Her mom burned through five husbands. And she's wearing black underwear. <laughs> too much. Well, then, let's hope I don't fall into enemy hands. It's not funny, Herman. I can't deal with this. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to joke. Look, you're gonna be just fine, no, Hetty. not. Sure you are. You've got nothing to worry about. You're, you're smart. You're attractive. Herman, I don't need to hear this. Finish your thought. <laughs> Simon, he's crawling back to me. I knew it. Tell him I'm not here. Is Hetty Newman here, by any chance? Hetty, no. Thank God for that. You haven't seen a pair of leather gloves lying about, have you? I seem to have lost them. Gloves, no. Oh, anyway, here's my number. If you run across them, give us a ring, would you? There's a good chap. Right ho, governor. <laughs> Was he upset? Um, not exactly. Heartbroken. Well, he did feel a certain sense of loss. Come on, Herman. Out with it. He uh, forgot his gloves. Herman, I want the truth. Oh, my God, that is the truth. Come on, Hetty. The guy seemed like a real heel. You're probably better off without him. Men, you're all the same. Once you've used us up, you just throw us away. Oh, that is not true. I have never used up a woman. Believe me, when I'm done, there's plenty left. <laughs> different, Herman, but you're not. I see the way you and Jay treat women. I am not Jay. You're right. You're worse. At least he's up front with his callousness. But you, you put on that sweet face of yours leading poor girls into a false sense of security, and then pow! You leave her dead by the side of the road. Now, wait a second. I'm not the one who led you on and then told you I was married. I'm the one who got stuck here all night redoing an assignment that you destroyed. And you know something? I'm not going to take any more of your abuse. Got it? Nice speech. You know, you really sell yourself short. You're better than all these jerks you date. They're only after one thing, and you know it. Go to hell, Remember? Herman. That's right. Just slip back into the bitch mode. Go to hell, Herman. Drop dead, Jay. Get a life, Louise. You know, if you're unhappy, then th that's fine. Be unhappy, but don't take it out on everyone else. I don't need to listen to this. Well, well, fine, then just get the hell out of here. Make me. Don't push me. I'll push if I want to push you. Hetty, get out of here. Get your hands off of me, Herman. Ow! Hetty, that hurt. Good, the poster hurts. Ow! Ow! Herman, let go! Yeah, you let go. You let go. <laughs> well, that ought to shut her up. Why are we kissing her? We hate this woman. This isn't the same Hetty. She's revealed her real self to us. I want this woman. <laughs> and I want her bad. <laughs> Johnny Bench, 1970, batted 293, 148 RBIs, 45 home runs. What are you doing? If we want to be here past four, play, leave me alone. <laughs> Nip over to Baker, she'd say, and fetch one of his special loaves with them grainy bits in. So I says to Baker, if you'd just give me the recipe, it'd save me a tidy trip. By yak, he said, you may be an outborough nipper, but you're not half as green as your cabbage looking. Hovis, 
It's as good today as it's always been. Kotex understands that you want to enjoy every day. That's why we designed the first panty liner to offer light protection with the added security of tabs. New Kotex Brevia Plus. It stays put when you don't. The latest addition to the Kotex range. Brevia Plus. Confidently Kotex. We're all going on a whole season's holiday. Doing things we always wanted to. Fun and laughter on a whole season's holiday. It's a dream come true. your whole season's brochure with the widest choice of self-catering holidays throughout Britain. And make your dreams come true. Throughout the day, your clothes pick up all sorts of dirt and odours. Ordinary big bottle liquids only get out ordinary dirt and can fade colours. New Radion Colour has a bleach-free cleaning system that tackles tough stains and odours without fading colours, giving a fresh, bright clean. Get more out. Put New Radion Colour in. This royal throne of kings, this sceptered isle, this earth of majesty, this seat of Mars, this other Eden, demi-paradise, this fortress built by nature for herself against infection and the hand of war, this happy breed of men. This little world, this precious stone set in the silver sea, which serves it in the office of a wall, or as a moat defensive to a house against the envy of less happier lands. This blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this Britain. I can't believe we slept with Hetty. I say we start gnawing our arm off now so we can make an exit before the Black Widow wakes up. <laughs> Can't we just enjoy the afterglow? Afterglow is not something the mate of the Black Widow enjoys. <laughs> Herman. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This can't be happening. Oh, what the hell was I thinking? Sleeping with you, was I out of my mind? Was I desperate? What's wrong with me? Well, you've got my self-esteem shooting through the roof. Herman, you've got to keep your mouth shut. No one can know about this. You've got to swear. Take it easy, Hetty. We made love. We didn't kidnap the Lindbergh baby. Oh my God, it's 7.30. I can't be. I don't have time to go home and change. Listen, I don't have time to finish that article that you deleted from my computer yesterday. Bracken's going to kill me. Hand me my shirt. Forget it. I'm wearing it. I can't wear my shirt. Think about it, Herman. I can't very well show up to work in a cocktail dress now, can I? What am I supposed to wear? Who am I, your mommy? Figure something out. <laughs> Give me your top. <laughs> Great, I just bought this. You're not a morning person, are you? <laughs> what do you expect? on a slab of mahogany after making love to someone who makes 22 five a year. <laughs> it's obvious why she's treating us like this. Because somewhere deep inside, we touched her. The pleasure was all mine. <laughs> Looked like I got robbed. 
How do I look? Like the person that robbed me. <laughs> Did you hear something? Louise is here. She can't find us like this. Research. Louise, Mr. Bracken here. I need you to pick up a file from printing. Do it now, please. Thank you. <laughs> she bought it! Boy, you weren't kidding when you said you'd be in shortly. Louise, where are you going? I I'm gonna get that file you called me about 15 seconds ago. Louise, 15 seconds ago, I was on the elevator between the fifth and sixth floor. <laughs> something, Herman. It's too late. We're history. Not yet, we're not. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Bracken. Louise. Herman, what were you doing in my office, and why are you dressed like that? Oh, my God, a rat! Ah! A rat where? I'm terrified of rats! Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, right, right over there in the corner. Well, I still don't see anything. Um, Are you sure you saw a rat, Herman? Well, I must have gotten away, sir. Morning, Hetty. Sharp outfit. Thank you, sir. Louise, call maintenance, have them set up an exterminator. Herman, have you got that article for me? The assignment? I haven't quite finished polishing it, sir. I thought I told you I needed that article first thing today. You did, but I... I, I... Right now. I need that work. Hetty, help Herman finish. Oh, I'd be happy to, sir. Thanks for shoving me out there like that. Very thoughtful of you, Hetty. Oh, relax, Herman. It worked out, right? So where's this article we're supposed to finish? Forget about the article for a minute. We have to talk about last night. Now, how are we going to handle this? Handle what? As far as I'm concerned, nothing happened. Nothing happened? Are you crazy? Herman! May I see you in my office, please? Herman, when I came in here, I found makeup all over my desk. What would you say was going on last night? Kabuki theater. <laughs> and how would you explain this empty champagne bottle? Opening night at Kabuki theater? I bet you think there's something funny about doing the nasty in the boss's office, don't you, Herman? <laughs> I'm going to say something to you. Safe sex is not having it in my office. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in you, Herman. You didn't do the work I needed for you to do, and then when I cut you some slack, you just used it to tie a woman to my desk. <laughs> going back to work. I have to decide whether or not you're going to be working here tomorrow. Yes, sir. Talk to you. Take a number, Louise. You didn't tell him anything, did you? I didn't give away your precious secret. Don't worry. Hermo, you stud. <laughs> I heard you slept with the cleaning woman in Bracken's office. <laughs> Where did you hear that? Hetty called me. <laughs> well, it's not true, Jay. I did not sleep with the cleaning woman. Well, then who was it, Herm? Oh, Jay, please just drop it. Ooh, ooh, the plot thickens. Okay, I gotta run, but uh, I'm gonna figure this out, pal. By the way, I love the t-shirt thing. That's very hip. Hey, Jay, thanks a lot for the ticket last night. Oh. I had a wonderful time. That's a really hot club. Yeah. Yeah, sorry I couldn't spend more time with you. Sorry they didn't let you in. <laughs> How could you do that to me? Oh, lighten up, Herman. What's the big deal? I'm so confused by all this. I don't know how to feel. We want this to work out with her, don't we? Why, so this can happen? Herman, I'm going out to have an affair with a rich and powerful man. Don't wait up. You're taking the kids with you? Yes. Girls, say goodbye to Daddy. <laughs> wait a minute. It doesn't have to be that bad. What about this? Oh, Herman, I'm so glad you talked me into leaving New York, having children and learning to cook. Maybe after we drive Herman Jr. to his baseball practice, we can get naked in the back seat of the Volvo. <laughs> okay. Herman. Sorry. I was just thinking you look really beautiful right now. Why are you being so nice to me? Stop treating me differently. People are gonna notice. I can't help it. I feel differently. Hetty, what do you think about us having lunch together today? No. 
school. We never have lunch together. Why would we start now? You're right. This is stupid. What was I thinking? Simon. Eddie, I I'm so sorry about last night. I have to talk to you. Do you have a moment? Herman, I'll be right back. Herman, this is a listing of every single person who works in the building. I'm going to figure out who you nailed in Bracken's office if it killed me. <laughs> Just give me one hint. Was she good? Phenomenal. Okay, that eliminates accounting. <laughs> Let's see here. Too old, too married, too pregnant, too picky. We're going after them. What for? A, Hetty is insensitive and self-absorbed. B, she doesn't possess an ounce of respect for us. And C, I don't care. I'm jealous. Well, you're just going to have to get over it. Excuse me? <laughs> Follow that girl. Hetty, I have to talk to you. I'm busy, Herman. Too hairy, too crazy, too chins. <laughs> After everything you went through last night, how can you even think about getting back together with this guy? He's married, remember? Actually, Hedy, I came to tell you that I'm not married. I, I said I was married because I felt things between us were moving a tad quickly. Oh. You're not actually gonna buy that crap, are you, Hedy? Shut up, Herman. Hang on a moment. Aren't you the chap from last night? Hedy, have you been seeing this boy behind my back? The boy? Of course not. Herman, tell him nothing happened last night. Oh! Oh, nothing happened last night. Really, Simon, trust me. I'm not sure I believe you. Damn, that puts a bit of a kibosh on our little deception. <laughs> a bit of my own medicine. I see. Well, I don't like the taste. Goodbye, Hetty. Simon! What the hell did you do that for? I don't know why I did that. Suddenly, I don't know how to act around you. I don't know what to do. Look, Herman, you should know that last night was wonderful. It meant a lot. But you should also know that it can never happen again. I can never fall for a guy like you. I worked too hard on getting what I want to blow it all on someone who could only offer me love. How can you say that? I can say that because you're just hot for me right now. That's all. Believe me, it'll pass. Would you please be reasonable? This isn't about reason. This is about our heart. What do you want me to do? Just stop feeling? No, I want you to give me the gun. <laughs> Drop the gun or the whip dies. Do me a favor. Kill them both. How do you know what I'm feeling? We slept together. That means something to me. So what are we going to do, Herman? Get married? Is that what you want? We don't even like each other. We make no sense together. Yes, I know that here. I just don't know it here. Herman, there isn't a choice. We have to go back to the way we were. Well, I don't know if I can do that, Hetty. Hattie, what are you doing? I've got to snap you out of this, Herman. To delete file, press D. All right. All right, Hattie. I get the point. Just put down the keyboard. I need that uh, article. Uh, uh. Okay. I can do it. I can go back. Look. I hate you. See? I hate you a lot. You know that here, Herman. But you just don't know it here. Hattie, for God's sake, don't do it. Oh. <gasps> did it. I can't believe you did it! Angel, look, a rainbow. Where? <laughs> I got it! War, is that what you want? Well, you got it, sweetheart. Hey, is this your week's work? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> so long! Bye-bye! <laughs> Way to go, troops! parade you know you know that was the least i could do because they fought so that people like you would have the right to fire people like me believe me herman we will be discussing that later right now what i want to know is where is that article sir i i had the file finished but there was another minor mishap with the computer don't lie to me herman i really hear you didn't finish it and have you lied to me i'm not lying sir the file was accidentally deleted you can't delete from this system. It does a safety backup every five minutes. It does? Of course it does. What's the file name? Bitch. <laughs> it's a long story. There's your article right there, Herman. I guess I owe you an apology. I'm 
Sorry I accused you of lying. That's quite all right, sir. Now, I don't know what's been going on in this office the past 24 hours, but it ends now. Got it? Got it. Listen. No, you listen to me. You are the most cruel, selfish, insensitive woman that I have ever met. And whatever I felt for you is gone. I mean, do you really mean that? Damn right I mean it. You mean it. Thank you, Herman. But remember, no one can ever know what happened between us. Don't worry. Nice shirt, Hetty. Oh, thanks, Louise. I liked it better on you, Herman. <laughs>